What's going guys, Mr. Impel here today, and today I'm going to be showcasing you the build I used to get my Conqueror's title so quick. We're going to be using just, you know, a simple Tusk Max Legion. These are just be normal mods and armors you're going to use. First off, we're using a little extra discipline so we can get that 100 discipline. You might want to use something else depending on what your build's looking like. We're going to be, first off, most importantly, the Kinetic Siphon because we are going to be using Malfeasance. We're going to be using a Kinetic Weapon, which will then make many orbs of power with this. Coupling that with the Font of Might because we will be using the Fire and Forget Trace Linear Fusion Rifle because we will always have an Elemental Shard so that will be able to proc easily as well as high energy fire so we're getting that double damage boost to our Linear Fusion Rifle when we need it. Using Also we're using the Melee Kickstarter, usually I switch out with Melee or Grenade Kickstarter, sometimes I'd say Grenade Kickstarter is better for this build because we're using Dusk Kill Grenade Spam. Moving on to the Cinder pinion vest we have the resilience because you know i want to be a little bit more extra tanky coupling that with the arc resistance so i can get the powerful friends the plus 20 mobility so i can easily max out the stats there so i can get my dodge back as soon as possible finally but not last least the energy diffusion substrate which gives you a five percent damage resistance to all damages now we're going to move to the lucky pants again we're using more resilience because we already have my 100 mobility 100 discipline I might as well get my resilience up so I become a little more tanky. Using all ability cooldowns when I pick up an orb of power. Again, we're making orbs of power with our malfeasance. And then the auto load and holster. This one just comes automatically on it with the lucky pants, which is awesome. And then the high energy fire because we'll be using the, the elemental shards, which will give us the might and high energy fire both at the same time. And then obviously to get the charge, you're going to need elemental charge whenever you pick up the well you get the plus two stacks of light. A charge with light. And for this one, I'm just using Champion to stun, take additional damage from teammates. That's for when I am doing Unstoppable, because I'm using Malfeasance. And then we're using the Void, because this will stop Overload Champions. And then we can also freeze the barriers, so now we have Unstoppable, Overload, and Barrier. So we have all the Champion mods here. And then obviously we're using the Weakened Clear, because... I don't know if you're a solo player or if you're by yourself, you know, sometimes you just need to extra load damage, find that person that's in front of you. And so I'm using Wild Order Flight with the auto loading blinding grenades, which will also stop them from shooting you. So this one, really good add clear, massive damage with Malfeasance and then the Fire and Forget. And then on my previous video, you will also see that you can infinitely freeze with Fire and Forget. So that's why I'm using this one here specifically. That is my build here. We'll just go kill a quick little uh, champion here. So I can show you some power here. What I'm doing usually. So I'm out of luck. Usually I just do this until he gets. Oh, we got infinite freeze this guy here quick. So you can infinite freeze, and then I'll just malfeasance and just max damage to the rest of it. That's about it, guys. Really simple build. Really easy to solo. If you want to do solo GMs, this is a viable. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like down below for this OP build. And I'll show you some solo gameplay of GMs shortly here. Peace.